So, Trent, we all know what that heat means for all of us Valley drivers. Uncomfortably hot conditions, especially when you first hop in and turn the key. It can be a scorcher, yeah. right? We hope your AC is up to specs, and even if it is, if you have small kids or pets riding in the back seats, it's going to take a couple of minutes before they're feeling any of that cold air. So, a couple of new dads have come up with a very clever, practical, and cool way to take the sizzle off of summer driving. Haley Francis joins us from outside our studios. Show us what these guys are doing about it, Haley. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to you know I mean it's no surprise summer heat is the worst especially when you get into your car it is hot hot and for your kids it's hot too and no matter how great your air conditioning it can be frustrating three summers ago Steve Paquin became a new dad and from the beginning his son was not a fan of car rides because every time we put him in the car seat was already hot and then when you strap him down uh, you know you're you're putting his sensitive skin on that uh, hot surface. He doesn't like it, so immediately he's going to start screaming and makes a car ride terrible. A quick check of the temperature in Steve's car. 125 degrees. That's 125 degrees on the surface of his son's car seat. Safety research shows that in the middle of an Arizona summer, it can get up to 200 degrees in the car seat. Each year, those kinds of numbers leave all parents seeking relief for their kids. This parent did something about it. Steve felt there had to be a better way. So for him, it came down to trying to figure out the way to to get the AC that's in the front of the car all the way to the back. So along with his friend Chris Burton, who also has small children, the two dads took on the temperature challenge. And what they were able to invent is a relatively simple directional hose device. This is our finished product. This is the noggle. This connects to the dash via a connection plate. We use a standard zip tie. This connects to this and this connects to this. Our patented connection here goes in with half a turn. At this point, drivers have a number of options. You could connect it to the arm or the you have the versatility of connecting it to a seat belt if it's a six-point harness. Velcro straps allow the noggle to be hung on a headrest, although the device isn't recommended for passengers under three months of age. So this allows the, the core to stay cool without freezing the child, and it's fully regulated by the parent. For older kids, like seven-year-old Grant, holding the noggle for a cool blast of AC works just fine. Is that better than the heat? I think everybody that has a kid should have one of these in their car. I don't like it when my kids are, you know, screaming and being all crazy in the back of your car. It's a huge distraction. You might miss something while you're driving. So this way they're nice, they're cool, you're happy, they're happy, everybody's happy. I bet right about now you're thinking, why didn't I think of that? Uh, Chris Burton is one of the co-inventors of the Noggle. How are you? Very good, thank you. Thanks for being here and bringing all these uh, awesome examples to show us. I'm sure you've gotten a great response so far from people. Our response has been overwhelming. When we designed this over two years ago, we had no idea. I mean, we knew we had a cool product because that was the two things people would say. This is cool and where do I get one? And after hearing that about 10, 15 times, we went into R&D, design, everything. I now love we this, have a finished product. I love this camo noggle too. This is perfect for the man in your life. Right. Well, <laughs> yeah, considering uh, we just came off a three-day weekend, it's one of my favorite. The, uh, this is our jungle camo. We also have a digital camo version for uh, the, you know, the Luke Air Force folks. Okay, here's what I like as well, because this I see hooks in right to your vent in the front, and you say that this is really good, a, a little extra safety reminder for parents as well. Correct. So unfortunately, and it's sad to say this, every year kids are left in hot cars. There's a lot of fatalities every year. It seems to be growing. So a lot of, a lot of the concern we had when we designed this was, well, why is it so cumbersome? Can we make it a little bit more sleek on my dash? Well, it's really two parts. I mean, it's a great reminder that in our busy lives when we're on the phone we're not texting when we're driving we're not drinking our coffee our little ones are asleep in the back because they're incredibly comfortable with the noggle now this gives you that friendly reminder that your child is in the back seat and it works too I mean really if you just put your hand there you can get a really good feel and it's just connected to that one vent it feels great you have different sizes that you offer depending on what kind of car you have as well correct so our most common our most sold is the larger size it's an eight foot it's designed for the SUV the midsize the cross over. Stylish uh, as yeah, well. I like that. $5.99. We have about 15 different colors on our website that they can customize the, the fabric color. Um, we also comes with a six-foot version. This one is $39.99. All includes shipping. 
And then we have what we designed as a back seat version. So if you have rear air, we have a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It has rear air on the console. A three and a half foot version sells for $29.99. Most people buy this, then they come back and buy another one. It's a great idea. I wish you so much success. I'm just glad somebody finally thought this up for kids and pets. It's perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a, we live in an amazing state and uh, we don't feel that people should be trapped inside their house when it gets over 100 degrees. Take your kid for a road trip. Keep them cool. Thanks for being here. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Back into you guys. Hey, Haley, quick question. Yeah. As a small business owner right there, I'm wondering how successful has he been being in business for two years? How much money has he made? Tram wants to know how successful you've been in the past two years. Well, every every show that we've taken this to, we have sold out. We started with um, just a, a couple different small shows to get some R&D designs on what parents like, and we sold out of our prototypes. Um, we took it to a pet show because I have a a rescue dog that fell asleep in the back seat with it. I sent one to my dad who did a cross country tour with uh, our move with his dog and packed the SUV and he loved it. So then we thought, well, pets, of course. I mean, those are kids too, right? Sold out there too. We, yeah, Phoenix. we went to the Phoenix Pet Show. Great. Totally sold out. So everywhere we've taken it, we've sold out. We're looking at going to a show in Vegas. Hopefully we'll get picked up by one of the major retailers here locally. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Turn it back to you. Okay. okay. Well, I didn't get my answer or my He's question doing answered, well. but that's, yes, he is doing well. My kids will be fighting. Give me the <laughs> noggle. No, give me the noggle. <laughs> you know, in the back seat.